Hey guys, I just want to apologize right now. I haven't brushed my teeth yet, so I apologize if my breath stank. I got another custom e-bike build today. This is the Specialized Rock Hopper 29er. I want to go over this bike, what we did to it, what makes this thing sick. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd Out, professional e-bike converter, take bikes, turn them into e-bikes. It's really windy, always here, why? Okay, so we got a Specialized Stump Jumper. Uh, this is a hardtail mountain bike. Got Rock Shocks front suspension on a 29 inch tire frame. So the customer was looking for something that he could go on trails, but also wanted to do some commuting with it. I think we got a good setup with this thing. This is a killer bike if you want to do some trails, camping trails, light trails like that, but then you also want to like do some commuting. Maybe you want to get to work and back on it. So for that, we got a bell on it. Bing, bing. Uh, put a mirror on it. And we're also gonna put a, a, a USB light on here. Um, I just don't have it on right now. But yeah, that's like a good commuter set. A bell, a mirror, lights, and a rear rack with some bags, and that would be the ultimate. For the motor, we went with the BBS HD motor. It puts out 1,000 watts, nominal, about 1,700 peak. We've got a 500C color display on this. It's a small, integrated, with the buttons and the screen. It's really nice. It's got hydraulic brakes. We put a hydraulic gear uh, brake cutoff sensor on there. It's got a 52 volt, 17 and a half amp hour battery. So this thing's gonna have between 30 and 60 mile range, depending on how much you know you pedal with it. The thing about I like about this battery style is that it, there's a key, so you could take this off and then you can put it on and lock it. So you could charge it in the house, on the bike. You could remove it if you live in some place that's, you don't trust. Looky lose looking to steal a battery. You can just take it off and bring it in with you. It does have a throttle, nine levels of pedal assist. Put a gear shift sensor on it, which is just pretty much like a clutch. If you're used to riding a motorcycle, um, it just acts as a clutch. So you shift a gear and it'll disengage the motor for a second and then it'll put it back on. Yeah, all right, let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out test. So you could see this bike on the hill climb from a standstill wasn't the best. Um, and I think it's because this is a stock 46 tooth chain ring and you got these giant wheels. So your gear ratios are all adding up and they're playing, taking its toll on the hill climb from a start. But it makes up for it with these big tires on the top speed. You can see this thing freaking flies. This is a speed demon. So if you wanted to negate that and get better hill climbing, put a smaller front chain ring up here this is a 46, you could go all the way to 28, or even like a 36 would probably be good. You could replace your rear cassette and get a bigger tooth in the back. You know, this is gonna be fine for most people though. Check out my other videos if you're into e-bike stuff and you wanna nerd out on other e-bike stuff. Later, y'all.